in the fall. Let's go ahead and have Jose do two so the rest of the group can see. Mid shin for us, Jose. And deadlift. And back down to mid shin. You're good, Brandon. And deadlift. Okay, so verbal cue to make that better. On the setup. So first I say get set, and then you're going to tell him right now. What are you going to tell him? He's back. He's back, and now you're going to tell him better, same, or worse. Better. Okay, and go ahead and deadlift for us, Jose. And reset. Does that does that make the movement better? And deadlift. Yes. Yeah. What were you trying to get after, Jan? Uh, his getting, his getting his knees and so what was ultimately affected because of that? If the knees are too far forward, we're watching a deadlift. Something about the frontal plane. Yeah, I love that you're throwing out these terms. You're like, posterior chain engagement. Let me get on the list. What else is affected? If somebody's, if the knees are really far forward, what might be in the way when I lift? Knees. Knees. So where might the bar go? Around. Around the knees and away from that frontal plane. And so I think by changing that setup a little bit, he actually got a little bit straighter of a bar path, okay? So I think that you made some good improvement, but the reason was just to get that bar path a little bit straighter and over that midfoot. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and bring in Cody, because I want you to take a look at him, Jan. And let's see what you might do with Cody. Mid shin and deadlift. Back down to mid shin. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm okay with his setup. And deadlift. And back down to mid shin, one more. And deadlift. So I want you to think about a cue for him outside of the setup. Right, so let's try to keep your shoulders over the bar just a little bit longer and sort of past the knees, and then you can start moving. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of information. It might be very accurate, and I actually agree with you. Let's just shorten it a little bit. Okay. What? Keep those shoulders over the, let's uh, delay the opening of your hips. Okay, maybe delay the open. Let's stay with the shoulder one. You can start with the shoulders over the bar. So what do you want to say? Keep the shoulders over the bar longer. The bar longer. Yeah, there you go. And deadlift. What do you think, Jan? Better, same, or worse? Yeah, totally. Awesome. So he had the same fault as Jose. He was going around the knees. And this one, Jan showed a great example of cueing that differently. Now he went after the shoulders. Hey, instead of lifting your shoulders too fast, keep your shoulders over the bar longer. You guys with me on that? Let's think of another cue. If I'm going around the knees, Jan just went after the shoulders. What else could I cue in that system such that this happens instead of this? Oh yeah, when I'm lifting, you could tell the athlete to push the knees back. I use that one all the time. That's gonna help get them out of the way. What's one more thing in the system? We talked about the knees, talked about the shoulders. There's still one more, yeah, what could you talk about? What would be the cue there? Maybe push the hips back, maybe lift the hips faster. Do you see how in this one they're not really lifting and in this one they are? So those are again, three kind of verbal cues to get after that, that same fault there. Nice job.